Solving right triangles. A rectangle has length of 45 cm and width of 30 cm. Find the acute angle to the nearest degree between the diagonals. So what we need to find in this rectangle is the acute angle between the diagonals. So these are the two diagonals and that's the kind of acute angle which we need to find. Rectangle is given to us whose dimensions are 45 cm. So this is 45 and the width is 30. This is what is given to you and we need to find the acute angle. I'd like you to pause the video and solve this question. Now here are a couple of solutions and let's see how to solve these kinds of questions. One way is we can find the angle here and then find the required angle. Well let's adopt this approach. Let's say the angle is theta. So what is tan of theta? Tan of theta is opposite over adjacent, right? It is opposite over adjacent. Opposite side is 30 and adjacent is 45. So tan of theta is 30 over 45. We can always use calculator to find the angle theta. We can also simplify this. Now since we are using calculator, there is no need to simplify. We can say theta is tan inverse of this angle, right, which is 30 divided by 45, bracket close. So you have to use brackets very carefully, right? So we have second function, tan inverse, within brackets, 30 divided by 45, bracket close, equals to 33.69. So we get theta equals to 33.69 degrees. So that is our answer. Now how is this angle related with the acute angle which we are interested in finding? Well, one way is we can draw a line parallel here. And we know if this is theta and the line is parallel, that becomes a transverse line. Then we have theta here and theta here. So the acute angle which we are talking about is 2 times theta, right? And therefore we can say acute angle is equals to 2 times theta, which is 2 times 33.69, let's say 33.7, right? And we can multiply this by 2 and get 0.4, 3 times 2 is 6 and 1 7, so 67.4 degrees. So that is one way we can do it. Could you suggest some other ways? Well, we could have started with drawing this line here, right? And then we say, well, these two are thetas, let's say some angles, right? And then height will be half of 30, which is 15, and the width will be half of 45. Do you see that? Width will be half of 45. And then also we get the same answer. So that could be an alternate way of approaching this question. The idea of going through this video is to understand how should we tackle a problem. Right, so when you have a problem, try to sketch a figure, this time we were given one, and find relations which could help you to solve problem. I hope that helps. Thank you.